Hi, I'm Sherry Scott, Director of Student Disability Services for Southwest Tennessee Community College. Welcome to another Student Disability Services Quick Vid. Today, I'm going to talk on the subject of people first language. And I'd like to start with a simple quote by Robin Sharma. He says, words can inspire and words can destroy. So choose yours well. The purpose of people first language is to promote respect and dignity for people with disabilities. People first language puts the person, not the disability first. In communication, when the person is given priority over the condition, it is an acknowledgement of that person's human value and individual ability to succeed. In addition, the use of people first language promotes positive attitudes, better treatment, and inclusion for people with disabilities. On the other hand, not using people first language creates distance, barriers, and continues ongoing negative stereotypes. Let's look at a few examples. Instead of saying the disabled, try saying people with disabilities. Instead of saying he's crippled, it's better to say he has a physical disability. Or instead of saying handicapped parking, try saying accessible parking. One more. Instead of saying special needs, as in special needs testing, try saying accommodated, as in accommodated testing. That's one I've only recently learned myself. Did you see the difference between one and the other? Or better yet, do you feel the difference between the two? Listen, we are all learning, and these changes in communication may not happen overnight. Most of us mean no harm when we communicate using the old language or phrases. We're only repeating what we've always heard. But when we learn that there is a better way to communicate, a way that assigns dignity to a person, it behooves us as a community to yield more to that which respects, includes, and inspires one another. For more information on People First Language, the Office of Student Disability Services is always available to you but you can feel equally free to simply Google more People First Language examples. That brings us to the end of this quick vid. As always, thank you for watching.